Happy 2021. This is my first uh, 2021 video now. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tutorial, how to make a health bar GUI in Roblox Studio. So yeah, so hopefully you have a good 2021 year. So and yeah, let's get started. So, so the, how do I make it is we're going to go to the start of GUI. We're going to insert a screen GUI. And now I'm going to rename this health bar GUI. So then we're going to insert a frame. And then we're going to name this the health bar. So this is going to be the main frame. And since we got that, so I'm going to uh, write up some properties. 0 .0 0.0.5 for the anchor points. I'm going to change the color to red. And I'm going to change the border color to black. And then set it to 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the positioning. So, 2, point, 0, point 0.9. So, this is point 0.9. And then the sizing, we're going to say this. We're going to say 0 0.2. Not 0, dot 0 0.5. Hold on, 0. And you can see now you have officially made a health bar. But that's not all. We're going to need some a little bit of touches. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a frame. We're going to get a green frame. So the green frame is supposed to be the health. And what we're going to do is we're going to do 0 0.05. And then the position to be this. Because this will be super important. The sizing is also important also. I'm gonna say we're gonna set it to one zero one zero. That's that's what we do. Then I'm gonna change it to green, make it absolute green, and then the border color to none. Then what are we gonna do is we're going to uh, insert a text label, and then we're gonna say the health status. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do something very different. So this, and then this, this, and this. And then I'm going to set the background transparency to one. Then I'm going to change the font to about Gotham. You could change whatever font you want. Text scaled on, and I'm going to set white, and then I'm going to change it to that. And then this is the status. So we're gonna see if it's 100 health, then they have 100 health. So yeah, that is all we have. Once you've done all the GUI, let's insert a local script to your GUI. And then here we have the coding lies here. Now, first off, we're going to disable the health bars. So we're gonna say game dot start to GUI colon set core GUI enabled enum dot core GUI type dot health then a comma we're gonna say false so that means we're gonna set the type of it which is the health bar because roblox already put your health bar in the top and then we're gonna set it to false which means it will disable now we're gonna make some variables now i'm gonna say local player equals game dot players dot local player local character equals player dot character or player dot character added clone weight then we're going to get the frame of the health bar so we're going to say local health bar it was script not parent clone wait for child clone health bar now what are we going to do is we're going to update then we're going to use game colon get service colon run service dot render stepped colon connective function so run service is you know it's gonna run every tick and render step is they run a while loop but this time on local clients. So I'm gonna say local humanoid equals cha clon find first child. We're just gonna say the humanoid. Then we're gonna say health bar dot green frame dot sizing equals unim2 dot new so you're going to follow me right now humanoid dot health and then we're going to divide it by humanoid dot max health so yep 
And then we're going to set the offset to 0 and 1, 0. So this is what you do. So what is this is humanoids have max health for humanoid characters is 100. And if the health is 100, that's 1. So the scale is absolutely 1. If it's nine, if it's 90 divided by the max health of 100, then it will be 0 0.9. Then we're going to say health bar dot health status dot text e equals map dot floor, which means uh, we're going to get, we're going to round up the number. So, and we're going to say humanoid dot health. And then we're going to dot dot and then quote it to a slash dot dot humanoid dot max help and there you go this is the script you should be writing on and yeah what is up boys this is my new uh, analog avatar i look super hideous i know but as you can see this is the uh, the health bar right here it's 100 100 i'm gonna go to console so it's gonna go console or press f9 i'm not gonna press f9 and then we're gonna go to the script and i'm just gonna say workspace as you can see, the workspace is inside uh, this character, and the character has a humanoid. So we're going to say workspace dot anno bot dot humanoid dot health, and then we're going to deduce that to a seventy-five. And as you can see, it deduces, and the size already changed, so that's why the health bar should work. It also works on every health you put so if i put max health to about 1000 and you can see it works on 1000 anyways and if i set my max health to max health to 75 it also works on 75 also so if i set my health to zero <coughs> then i died that's a rip for me yeah uh, I, this is what i deserve and what i did in my stream I hope you enjoy uh, your 2021 uh, things if you want to do. So if you like it, please subscribe and like this video and comment what do you think of my health bar. Uh, do you think it's helpful or not or any problems? Leave a comment below. Anyhow, see you in the next video. Peace out.